What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Madi and today's video is going to be my August hits and misses. I have about 20 products to talk about with you guys today and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different approach today and I'm going to be incorporating misses throughout the video just to keep it interesting. I normally do the misses at the end but I just want to do something different and just keep the ball rolling. So we're going to be going really quickly through these because I don't want this video to be too long. So before we get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So without any further ado, let's do this. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be talking about today is the Kors Pomegranate Grenade Moisturizer. This is good for combination and oily skin types. It is $34. I got this at Sephora, and it's just a cream gel-based moisturizer, and this is to minimize and decrease the appearance of redness. So I have been using this for legit about a month now and I really really like this. This is on my hits list obviously. It says moisturizing and balancing cream gel and it smells like pomegranates. What I like about this is that you can use this as a moisturizer and a primer as well and I have really oily skin so this is just a bomb product for me to have. So yes, this is Kors Pomegranate Grenade Moisturizer and you can get this at Sephora for $34. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is another hit. This is the NYX Mousse Epic Black Liner. I got this at my local grocery store, my HEB. I got this for $10 and this is just an awesome product. So I use this every day. I'm wearing it right now and it is just a cool little mousse liner. It's not really that much different from a gel. I honestly cannot tell the difference. It just seems like they added that word in there to make it sound different. but. I really do like it because it is a matte black. Why will this not close? There we go. I like it because it's a matte black and it glides really easily onto my lids. It is one of the easiest liners that I've ever used to apply a wing with and I'm in love with this. I just love this. This is NYX Epic Black Mousse Liner and this is for $10 at Target, Walmart, wherever you go shopping. Okay, so the first product on my miss list is the Morphe Shimmer Bronzer Sticks. I was really impressed with these upon my first impression slash review video. I loved these until I started using them more. So I'm just really unhappy with these. This is a shade you wouldn't understand, and this is the one that I generally use for bronzing up my face and then there's another shade that comes with it that doesn't quite make sense to my skin tone and this is center of attention but I really am just not happy with these at all because one they're very oily on the skin I'm not impressed with that the colors I mean <laughs> center of attention does not even make sense with my skin tone and this is from the medium collection that they paired together I was just really unhappy with these. I tried using these in my... What is going on with my lash right now, y'all? I've tried them several times since that video and they have just not looked right. So my initial first impression, I think honestly, was correct. I tried blending them out with this beauty blender in my last video. They're more of like a cream and they should be blendable and the Beauty Blender did not even recognize the product and it didn't blend and then I tried to save it with the brush it came with. It just goes all over your face and I absolutely do not like these products. So I wouldn't recommend anybody buy these. These are once again the Bronzer Shimmer Sticks by Morphe and these sell for like $6.99 each. Ugh. Next on my list is another hit and it is the Merle Norman Dual Action Concealer and this is just a awesome, awesome concealer. So I've been using this for the bridge of my nose and contouring and this is like the best concealer just because like the shade is right, it blends really well. It's like a medium coverage but it's just the right shade and I love it. It blends super well, it covers my bags, it works well with color correctors and I'm just really happy with this little sample that I got. I probably will be going to buy myself another. I actually do not have a price for this because each Merle Norman is different but this is just a bomb little product. 
Also, while we're talking about Merle Norman products, another hit is the Sweet Delights Cheek Trio. I honestly have the hardest time saying that every single time. I have these in the samples, and I got the entire palette. This is on sale at my Merle Norman for $30, just to give you a price point. But I'll swatch these for you. It comes with two different blushes, and I love them both. I use them all the time because they're just so pigmented. This finger right here is Honey Bun and then this is Strawberry Shortcake. I use them both. They're so beautiful. And the last shade in the palette is the little shimmer and I love using this for an illuminator and this is called Sugar on Top and that is my finger right here. It's just a cute little shimmer. I use this for my illuminator. I like that the palettes are powders and not creams because your girl is oily all the time. So this is just an awesome palette and I recommend y'all to go pick up this palette as soon as possible because they're really great blushes for the olive medium tone skin. I want to call them sweet cheeks for some reason, and I think it's because of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, but it's just really hard for me to say. But once again, these are the Merle Norman Sweet Delights Cheek Trio palette, and these are for $30 as a whole. For my first mist product, I was talking about the Morphe Bronzer Shimmer Sticks, and I was not feeling them at all. However, I did buy them in the bundle, and with the bundle, I got the Morphe M571 brush, and this is honestly, like, the best brush. It's a very dense brush, and I was kind of thrown by the shimmer sticks but I really do like the build of this brush because my favorite illuminator is the Josie Moran Illuminizing Wand and I use this all the time. Beforehand I was just using a damp beauty blender and now I use this Morphe M571 brush to pat the illuminator on the high points of my cheekbone and I use this brush for that and I freaking love this brush so much because it just it does an amazing job. I love the angled shape of it. I love how densely packed they are. The brush is just super soft in general, and this is a bomb, bomb brush. While we're talking about brushes, I also have the Morphe R10. Please excuse the filth on it. I used it today. And this is from the Rose Gold Collection, MorpheBrushes.com, and I freaking love this. I saw this on Jaclyn Hill's $150 collection. I just went in and watched her video and picked the brushes that I actually wanted from the collection, and the R10 was one of them that I was really interested in. This is like my go-to bronzer brush now. The bristles are, like Jaclyn said, just perfect how they're shorter on the sides and longer in the middle. It's a very soft and dense brush, and it is just perfect for bronzing and contouring the face. So... I really love just Morphe brushes in general. They're so heavy and luxurious, and I just, I love these brushes. By the way, you can get the Morphe M571 brush for $10 on morphebrushes.com, and you can get the Morphe R10 brush for $14.99 on morphebrushes.com. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be talking about is on my miss list. This is the Merle Norman Eyeshadows. I got a, one palette, and I think this is the Just Desserts palette that I have. And I was so unimpressed with these eyeshadows. Only two of these swatched well, and it is a Candied Violet. Candied Violet is like a little pinky color, but when you put it on, it is like the chalkiest mess. And the other shades just don't even show up. So, I was really unimpressed with these shades. If you guys saw my testing Merle Norman products video, you can see how I struggled with these. I just could not make them work, and the look I came up with was subpar. It was probably my least favorite that I've ever presented on this channel. These shadows were just ridiculous, especially for their price point. So you can spend $30 for four shades that don't show up for Merle Norman, or you can spend $50 on a Too Faced palette and get 18 shades that all are bomb. The price point for these just didn't make sense to me, and the quality of them is just poor. So I don't recommend anybody go and buy the eyeshadow palettes. However, you know, I like the blush palette. It's just really like a hit and miss, I guess. I'm not really sure what the dealio is. So yeah, these are... So the next product I'm going to be talking about is on my hits list, and it is the Morphe E17 brush. This is from the Elite Collection, and this is for $6.99 on MorpheBrushes.com. So I really like this brush because it is just a smaller, smaller blending brush 
that is very dense. Oh, I used it. You can see a little powder coming off it. That's cute. So it is just a really densely packed blending brush, and this is perfect for getting up into the crease and blending shades. It does amazing with blending, and it is just one of the perfect brushes that I have that I don't know what I was doing before. And again, this was for $6.99 on morphebrushes.com. So the next product I'm going to be talking about is on my hits list, and this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. I got this in the August Boxy Charm, and I am honestly in love with this. So I love that they kind of like darker shades because it's just perfect coming up on fall and autumn. I just love this palette. The pigments all show up really well, just to give you some examples here. They all are super duper pigmented. You can just see the difference from the Merle Norman shadows I showed you. They show up so well and you can create honestly so many looks off of these shades. And I really, really love this palette just for the formula and the idea of it and the packaging is just gorgeous. Can we talk about that really quickly? And I love the whole Rainforest collection. It's just a really beautiful idea. I love this palette and I'm happy that I got this on my BoxyCharm because I've honestly been really curious as to how their products are. I've obviously been testing out a lot of Tarte lately, especially with like my Tarte Shape Tape and the foundation I bought and now I'm going towards this right here. So I'm really venturing out into their brand. So far I have yet to be disappointed. So this was the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette and this is for $36 on Tarte.com and you can also get this at Sephora. So yeah! So while we're on the discussion of Tarte Cosmetics, let's talk about my next item. And this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. It's a stick. And I got this in medium neutral. I got this about a month ago and I was not really feeling it the first time I tested it out. I have a video on this and it was not a good review. But I found a way to make it work and I use this pretty much every day now. Beforehand, the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation was my favorite and now I just reach for this all the time. What I like about this product is one, it is a stick slash clay form. I just love the idea of being able to really precisely put the foundation where you want it, whereas a liquid, it kind of like goes all over the back of your hand and you waste a lot of product. What I like about this is that you use the exact amount of product that you want to use every single time. I really like this idea of having like a solid foundation. It applies beautifully, it blends well, it covers what I need it to cover, and it's just a really precise foundation. It doesn't do so well with the longevity aspect, where as All Nighter holds onto my skin better, but that's because it's an oil free. This is a hydrating foundation, but it also works for oily skin as well. And I put this on in the morning and I always set it with a translucent powder and I put my oil-free powder on top in my problem areas and I am pretty much set all day long. So I found a way to make it work and since then I have been reaching for this a lot more than any other foundation because it's just so practical to use. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Stick Foundation and I got this for I think $39. So the next two products that I want to talk about are quite a story. So I did a Merle Norman testing video like I've mentioned earlier in this video and I found a lipstick shade that I really liked in the Merle Norman collection and it was almost like this color right here and I was really excited to try it on and that was the shade that I decided to apply on my lips for the video and I was really disappointed with the color payoff. Once you put it on your lips it was more of a pink, ruby pink, whereas the little sample looked like it was going to be a really pretty red salmon. So this product actually had an opposite effect on me and it made me not want the product that they originally showed me but they made me want that color. So I went to MAC and that, like I said, it is the opposite. Like they made me interested in buying another brand because they did not have the color that I was looking for. So I went into MAC and I found this lipstick and it is called Vegas Volt and this is an amplified finish and it is this gorgeous gorgeous like salmon color and I'll swatch it for you. 
It is this gorgeous salmon color that I absolutely loved. This is for $17 at the Mac store, and I'm sure you can get it online as well, but this is where I got mine. It's an amplified finish, but honestly it reminds me of the Mac Glaze lipsticks, but it's a little bit more matte than the glaze and it blends really well. It's kind of a sticky lipstick and it lasts forever. What I like about this as well is because it is an amplified finish, it doesn't give that awful line that everybody has to deal with when they want to wear a lip color. So I really, really love this lipstick. Again, this was $17. Continuing the story, while I was there, I remembered a product that I'd been wanting to buy for the longest time. And I was there, so I just thought, you know, why not splurge? So I went to the other side of the store and I ended up getting a lip gloss. I love these lip glasses so much. I got the shade see-through because I just wanted something really natural. What made me want to buy this was I loved my Too Faced lip injection. I loved the gloss that it gave me, but I didn't want to deal with the pain. So this is what my solution was. It is the MAC Lip Glass, and you get this for $17 as well. And I almost got the Oyster Girl, I think it's called, but I ended up getting this instead because it was just a little bit less shimmery. It's a very acceptable color because it's obviously like a see-through, but it kind of just gives a little tiny pigment to your lips, which is not unnatural. It's very, very pretty. So I love, love, love this stuff so much because now I can get the Too Faced Lip Injection Finish without the pain. So my last product on my mist list is the Bella Pierre Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner. This is in shade Ebony and I was just really, really not feeling this liner. So it applies well onto the skin and I'm sorry, this is my left hand. I was just not feeling this eyeliner at all because it is a gel eyeliner and it's supposed to be waterproof as well and I was really excited to try this but I was working with it all this week along with every other BoxyCharm product and it didn't even show up my waterline. I was so unimpressed with this. I tried using it to fill in the little sparse spot in my eyelashes after I applied my eyeliner and it goes so quickly and it has like this plastic on the edge of the eyeliner that just makes it look like it can't even be sharpened and it goes so fast. I was just really unimpressed with this. I would never ever buy this again. This is for $15 y'all. Like I don't understand. Like how can you charge something so much to not even show up on your waterline? I was, I'm just, I don't even know what to say about this product anymore. Once again, this was the Bella Pierre Gel Eyeliner, and this is for $15 on their website. The next product I'm going to be talking about on my hits list is the Morphe 35B palette. This is it right here. I love this palette so much. I have been having an absolute ball with all of these shades, and this has been like a life-changing palette for me because I love color. This is like the first time I've ever done like a warm tone color on my channel. I love bright colors and being fun and I just fell in love with this palette. I couldn't wait to get this in the mail and I'm just happy that it's finally here. I have a lot of these shades on my eyes right now, especially like these right here. I just love the formula, of course, it's Morphe. I know that when I buy Morphe I'm never going to be disappointed besides the shimmer sticks. but. When it comes to shadows, I know I'm never going to be disappointed. So this is the Morphe 35B palette. I think I got this for like $22. Morphe is always very affordable, so yes, this was the Morphe 35B and I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm done. Okay, so the next product I'm going to be talking about is another hit, and this is the Pure Cosmetics Lashes. I got these in the BoxyCharm, and I'm wearing them on my eyes right now. They are just absolutely gorgeous. I love these lashes so much because they're so dramatic. They're really easy to apply, in my opinion, because they have such a thick band on them. And I also do like the fact that it has 30 plus wears. Because they're more of like a high end, I can pick the glue off because of the thick band, and and I can reshape them really easily and they are just an awesome awesome pair of lashes. I can totally see myself spending $14 on these because if they go the distance like then it's worth it you know. These are just really beautiful dramatic lashes that I love. Okay so the next products that I'm going to be talking about are from the 
boxy charm that I got this month. Please pardon the dirty little brush here. I used this brush to do my makeup today. So these are the Moda Pro brushes, and I got these in the August boxy charm, and I love these brushes. So this one has like a little dip, and it's very dense, just like the Morphe M571 brush, except it just has like the white tip on it, which I really like because it shows me when it's like okay, it's getting too dirty. Use this for contouring, and then I use this one for blending, obviously. This is a crease blending brush, and the bristles are so soft. They're softer than any brush that I own. The last brush is a pointed brush and this is a very soft but dense powder brush. You can use this for contouring, you can use it for blush, and you can use it for powder as well. It's a very versatile brush, but I honestly use this to put translucent setting powder on my face because it is just so soft. These brushes are very heavy. They remind me a lot of the Morphe brushes. I like the little waterproof silicone uh, texture to the handle of the brushes and the metal on the side honestly feels like a plastic slash metal. It's very very cool and feels very luxe. So once again these are the Moda Pro brushes and you can get this whole set for $26. Okay, so the last product that I'm going to be talking about today is the Beauty Crop Liquid Lipstick. I have it on right now. This is the packaging, and you can get this for $14.95. This is the hashtag Girl Power Liquid Lipstick, and once again, this is the Beauty Crop. I love this lipstick. Even though I'm wearing it, I'm still going to swatch it for you guys just so you can see like the fresh paint of this. I said in my first BoxyCharm video that it reminded me a lot of Gemini from Jeffree Star, but the finish is so much different. So this is an anti-feathering, cracking, and like drying out lipstick. It's very comfortable on my lips, and I will say that it is a lot more comfortable than the Jeffree Star Velour lipstick. That's why I'm wearing this one instead of that one today. I just love the finish of it. I love the color. It's very autumn, very fall, and very neutral. I planned on wearing my amplified lipstick today, but it was just too bright, and I thought, you know what would be perfect? The beauty crop. So I definitely want to buy some more of these and start testing out the different shades that they have and having fun with those. So this is a really awesome, awesome liquid lipstick. It's not, it's so comfortable on the lips, like you can't even feel it. It's very lightweight and it is totally kiss proof. It is very, very cool. I love this lipstick so much. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys found this video informative and I hope you guys liked the variety of the products that I presented to you guys today. I hope you guys liked hearing me talk about all of the great products that came into my life this month. I'm happy to spread on my opinions and reviews on them and I hope you guys found them informative. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up or subscribe down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye!